You're watching the Hampton Classic Horse Show on WDVH-TV, Hampton's Television. We're here on ASPCA Adoption and Animal Welfare Day at the Hampton Classic. Always one of the highlights. And this year we have something new. Doris, tell us about the rabbits that we have here. Yeah, so in January of 2015, the ASPCA partnered with the NYPD um, to rescue these rabbits. And we provided, um, at the time, lots of medical care. And they are just now healthy and ready for new homes. So it really took several months before they were in a condition to make them available to people. It did, yeah. And now they're all here and probably looking forward to new homes, yes? Yes, we're so excited to be here. So, yeah, thank you so much for having us. And any interest yet from people as far as adopting? Not yet, but we're feeling lucky. So, yeah, please, we, we are really happy for people to come here and see the rabbits and to take one home, hopefully. Well, we're sure it will work out, and we thank you so much thank for being you. here. Thank you so much. Hi, this is Andy. He was a rescue from Puerto Rico. He was a street dog and he came in. He was very undernourished and he had very bad skin as you can see. This is where it hasn't grown in yet, all this black area. And he's nine years old. He's a Sharpay uh, Shepherd, maybe some lab, and he's a sweet, gentle boy. He'd be a great for a senior. He just wants to be loved. And for what he's been through in life, he's a gentle, gentle boy. Hi, Andy. Turn around. Hey, Andy, come here, Andy. Oh, what a sweetie. Andy, are you happy to be at the Hampton Classic? Oh, what a good boy. Well, we hope Andy finds a home here from ASPCA Adoption Day at the Hampton Classic. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come on, buddy. Maybe you'll be some hope. Want a treat? You want a treat? You want a treat. Get him. Oh my God! Really? Okay. At the Hamptons today is the ASPCA adoption day. Good to see you. And look at this baby. Wait, I like. <laughs> look at him. His name is Teddy. Okay. Okay. Isn't he cute? Yeah, cute, sure. Can we bring him home? No. Why? Because we have a dog. I know, but Remy would love. Yeah, him. but two is better than one. Yeah, Dad. No, no, no. Dad, Tell your mom he said yes. Dad, stop. Dad, stop. No, Dad. <laughs> So Katie, we see you have some adorable dogs and cats here for adoption. Yes, we do. This is Miss Thelma, and she is here with her sister Louise. Um, Thelma and Louise are two and three years old, and we are looking to find them a forever home. We want them to go together because they love each other. <laughs> And you've been here in past years? Yes, we come every year. We love the Hampton Classic and the Adoption Day with the ASPCA is just so amazing because there's so many animals on Long Island that need homes and this whole day is dedicated just to that. So we will be here every year. <laughs> and how many cats do you have here? Um, right now we have four kittens, but that is only a fraction of what we have at the shelter. Right now we actually have 84 kittens. Oh my. Yeah, so we have about 136, seven something cats and kittens included. So we're looking for some good homes for these guys. So if any people watching who didn't make it out here today are interested in one of those kittens, where should they call? They can call the Southampton Animal Shelter. Our number is 728-PETS, that's 7387, and you can come visit us 10 to 5 any day of the week. We're located at 102 Old Riverhead Road in Hampton Bays, New York, and that's in Red Creek Park. 
Well, we thank you for all the great work that you do. We thank you for being part of the Hampton Classic, and we love your Hampton Classic yeah. Jump for Charity hat. Yeah, the Jump for Charity is amazing, so we're looking forward to that on Friday. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're here on ASPCA Adoption and Animal Welfare Day at the Hampton Classic. We have a very special group of riders and horses. Uh, we're going to quickly go across. We have Brian Gatal. Hi, Brian. <laughs> Georgina Bloomberg. Sharon. And who's this with you? Cinderella. Cinderella. Haley Barnhill. Jessica Springsteen. Chloe. Who's this? Mickey. Mickey. Mm -hmm. and Jill Rappaport and of course Valerie Angeli from ASPCA. So Valerie, you tell us first quickly about this day and what it means for these horses. Well, first of all, it means for all animals that the Hampton Classic is embracing how much we all love horses, all animals, and how much animals in need need to be rescued. And these people standing here, I am so proud of. These are our equine welfare ambassadors who are top riders, but they're also champions in what they do for animals, for people. They are representing such great causes and rescue is one of them. Um, the ASPCA is 150 years old this year. And one of our missions is to find horses in need second chances. And these horses are, have all been rescued by various groups. They're going to be here to be ridden by Haley Barnhill, by maybe Jesse Springsteen. <laughs> Still we, deciding, huh, Jess? And, and we, we love that Jesse's joining us this year. This is Jesse's first year that she's been able to join us, but people follow them because they respect them and they're iconic in their careers and they do such great things for animals. So we hope that people will follow their lead and think about adoption as a first option, rescuing an animal. These are thoroughbreds off the track. These are horses rescued from auction where they would have gone to slaughter. And now they're gonna have a second career and a happy home and be loved for the rest of their lives, hopefully. So these guys are gonna help us message. And we also have dogs and cats and rabbits for adoption today. And we thank the Hampton Classic for giving us such an incredible opportunity to turn this day into Animal Rescue Day. Well, we thank the ASPCA. We commend you for what you do. And of course, I've known these riders since they were young girls. And I know the demands of our horse show circuit and how much time it takes. And for all of them to give of their time to help ASPCA, we really congratulate all of you for the great work you do. Someone else who works so hard and devotes her whole life to animal rescue, Jill Rappaport. Jill, you've been here, I think, every year that we've had yes. this, and we know it's a special day for you as well. Yeah, this is year six that I we've done this, is. and we're so excited because, again, you have the creme de la creme of horses here, the top 1%, but let's not forget about the majority of what's going on in the country, horses like this that really need, I call them steeds in need, and if people would, it's a bigger backyard, but if they would open up their hearts and homes to these animals, it's a dire situation as it is in the shelter world. So I'm just so happy to be here with these wonderful riders. And as I said, I don't jump, I don't show, I don't do anything. So I'm really honored to be in their company. And I know that, you know, they get on these horses first time that they're meeting them, jumping on them. And they're so gentle and so wonderful. And it just shows you what great animals they are. And they have a second life, a second chance for another purpose, even if it's just a companion animal in your backyard. And there's so many things you can do in addition to adopting. You can volunteer, you can help foster, you can, you know, donate, but just do something. Well, that's super. Jesse, um, we know it's your first year here. You almost made it last year, but unfortunately yeah. weren't able to. But did it take you very long to decide when Valerie first approached you and asked you about being an ambassador for ASPCA? Absolutely not. I mean, I do this sport because I love horses, so be able to help with animal welfare and just help raise awareness and something that I'm really proud to be involved in and so excited that I could Oops. be here. <laughs> be here today at the Hampton Classic and on Adoption Day. So. Well, thank you so much. And Haley, you've always shown a great willingness to hop on almost any horse, almost any time. Last year was so impressive and I guess you're up for it again this year. Of course. I, I love to be a part of this day. And my whole life is around horses and what they do for me, so I just want to do anything I can to give back to them. 
Well, it's really great, too, because it demonstrates to everybody that these horses are very rideable, whether it's as pets or to be ridden. Uh, you hopping on them and uh, demonstrating that uh, really serves a great purpose. Thank you. Thank you. George, you've been here for a lot of years on ASPCA Adoption Day, and we know you also serve on the board, and this is something very special to you. Absolutely. It's, it's a great day, and um, it's really nice to be able to, you know, bring an organization that's so close to my heart and that I've been able to be involved with um, to an event that I love and I've been coming to as a kid and to be able to give back. Well, it's a wonderful thing that you do. And Brian, you've also been here a number of years on this day, I know. And uh, I know that you joined at a very young age as an ambassador with ASPCA. Yeah, um, I joined in 2005 um, after McClay finals. Um, I kind of fell in love with the organization and I think it's really wonderful to expose what they what they do um, because there are so many horses in need and there are uh, there's so much more that we really don't see um, that we need to be exposed to. Well, again, we do thank all of you riders. We thank the shelters. We thank the ASPCA. Uh, it's a wonderful thing you're doing with these horses, and we hope they all wind up with homes uh, sometime very soon after today. I was horrified. It never dawned on me that it was happening right under our noses. Well, I was shocked. That's my first reaction. I am appalled, mortified. The immediate reaction was shock. I was, I was shocked. When I first learned about horse slaughter, I was absolutely shocked. America loves horses. And most people know the historic role the noble horse has held as our loyal partner in building this country. But many have no idea that approximately 150,000 American horses are slaughtered for human consumption in other countries each year. No horse is safe, no matter how talented, young, or well-bred. And every horse is just a sail away from dying a horrific death in a slaughterhouse. Every horse is at risk of winding up at auction, bid on by kill buyers who pay by the pound and send them on a nightmarish journey that ends in a gruesome death. As equestrians, we build relationships with our horses. We ask for their trust and their love, and we do not turn around and betray them by sending them to slaughter. It's not kind, it's not quick, it's torture. It's a horrible death. They've done so much for us, so we need to make sure that we do something for them, too. It's a myth to assume that these horses being slaughtered are old and decrepit and used up. Um, these are young, these are uh, very useful, these are full of life um, animals that, that have a purpose, and they, they should be treated like they have one. Join me in saying no to horse slaughter. Help us spread the word. If the idea of horse slaughter troubles you the way it troubles me, please do your part by joining the ASPCA Advocacy Brigade. Contact your members of Congress and ask them to ban horse slaughter. Together we can stop the needless slaughter of American horses. You're watching the Hampton Classic Horse Show on WDVH-TV, Hampton's television.